soldiers who attended the 2018 Resilient Living Day event at Camp Sama each received a new passport, a passport to life. But these passports aren't the kind that can be used to travel abroad. So what are they? What it is, is mimic a passport. So say for instance, you need a passport to move from country to country. Well, we want to make sure that this passport that we're mimicking have those life-saving agencies. And so when people come, they're able to visit all these resource tables and make those touch points, those connections. Those resources included various seminars intended to enhance spiritual, financial, professional, physical, and mental health. The key, says Kristin Kohler, is ensuring that we devote equal attention to each of those areas. So we want to make sure that we have a healthy balance on all things in life. An important part of staying resilient is being aware of the problem of suicide throughout the military. September is Army Suicide Awareness Prevention Month, and the fair also offered resources to encourage and motivate community members to build and sustain an effective support network. The importance of coming out to these fairs, uh, get the information that not too many people know about. Like if you have stress, uh, stress issues, being away from home, I didn't know that they had people there for that. So if I know anybody or myself that needs it, I can speak to them about it and I can direct them in the correct direction. September is Retiree Appreciation Month, so in conjunction with the Resilience Fair, the event also recognized those who retired from military service. What a better example of resiliency is our retirees. Every single one of us in uniform today aspire to be men and women who've gone before us, right? Earlier in the day, Colonel Phil Gage, commander of U.S. Army Garrison Japan, welcomed several keynote speakers from on and off the installation to share information and their experiences with the community. We need your help. The Army needs your help. Reporting from Kamsama, Japan, I'm Aya Watsuji.